What's up guys, Triple G Beast here. So Activision, the wonderful and very gamer friendly publishers have just dropped a official trailer for 2017's Call of Duty World War II. And I have high hopes for this because the past few Call of Duty games have been, well, they, 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 yeah, they haven't been that very good. <laughs> so I am sincerely hoping that this will be good and really turn the franchise around because I have a really bad feeling if Activision can't get this one right, then there's really no hope for this series. But, but since they have been listening to fans for the simple fact that they've been begging for a game to be based back in World War II because the Call of Duty franchise, I don't know why they were so heavily reliant on futuristic bullshit. Nobody really cared about that stuff. But now they seem to be turning a new leaf and really listening to fans on what they're looking for. And uh, people have been telling me to watch this just from the preview of the video. I have it open in a window right now. It looks like the like to dislike bar ratio considering how bad it was for Advanced Warfare. So that gets me really excited, I'm not going to lie. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch this for the very first time, uh, let you know what I think of it, and yeah. Let's do this. So, playing in three, two, one. <sighs> Please don't suck. This, day of set upon this better be actual in game footage. D Day, very nice. Come on, Activision. Come on, Sledgehammer Games. A lot of shit going on. We are all that separates the world from darkness. The enemy is ruthless. We cannot. We must not fail. Duty first. Graphics look pretty good. Ah, uh, please let us fly jets. I want to fly those so bad. No. Flamethrowers, just like World at War. This is war. Brutal. Love it. Tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. Welcome to the bloody first. You're a long way from Texas, my boy. <laughs> November 3rd, okay. Pre-order now and get access to the private beta. All right. Not a bad trailer. Uh, they actually did way better for this one than uh, Infinite Warfare. Because I remember in pretty much the very first trailer they had for that game, they were like, hey, pre-order and get this and that. And they were also like, oh, hey, but here's a quick 10-second tease at the very end of the trailer. We're going to be letting you be able to play Call of Duty 4 Remastered for, in, for the Deluxe Edition. So if you give us extra money, then you'll be able to get the Remastered Edition. That pissed people off for, for good reason. I'm so happy, though, they're just simply like, hey, pre-order the game, you get a private beta. And I love when games really utilize that, because a lot of developers or publishers, whatever the case may be, they really take advantage of pre-ordering, like, hey, if you pre-order this, we'll give you some bullshit outfit or weapon or whatever. It's already be in the game. But when they're like, hey, pre-order, we'll give you access to the beta or stuff like that, I really like. So it does look pretty Decent. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It looks like they're really, really trying. Um, there was a little bit of gameplay footage in there from here and there I could see. A lot of mayhem going on. You really did feel like you were in the in an actual war there. It looked very gritty. Uh, the violence is really up there. I mean, it's definitely going to be uh, very, very mature, which 
you know, that's how World War II was, so they're really sticking to the source material. Facial animations look good, graphics look awesome, uh, you know, very fluent in gameplay as always. I mean, when it's called it not been 60 frames, that's pretty much standard for it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty badass in my opinion. I think this looks way better than easily the last handful of Call of Duty games that we've gotten. So, I'm hyped for this, and I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on this game. But I'll definitely keep my expectations at a pretty good level. That way I'm not extremely disappointed when the game releases. But I am going to be keeping a close eye on this because I'm definitely intrigued. And if Activision does this right, this game will sell like hotcakes. <laughs> so... Let me know what you guys think, and uh, if you like my reaction, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hit that get notifications bell icon so you can get notified when I upload a new video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, a good way to stay active with me. And as always, guys, I'll see you till next time. Peace!